It's Laura Eubanks of Design for Serenity with the grand reveal in La Mesa, California of our entry pots. Come on, take a look. Now, this is a pretty full, this is full sun in here. So I chose Echeveria Sahara. This particular Echeveria, it's one, of, it's really the only one that I've worked with that will tolerate and actually flourish in full sun. This plant can take temperatures upwards of 90, even into the hundreds. But remember, succulents need to acclimate. So to bring a Sahara into your garden, if you live somewhere where it's, it's 100 degrees, right now probably not a good idea. It's best to wait until moderate temperatures, maybe the springtime, to give the plant a chance to get used to the heat rather than bringing it in right now. Um, we talked about using sticks on fire, um, this uh, Euphorbia um, millii as, or Lucie rather, uh, as a cutting. Um, we don't want this to take over the world, so popping this into a pot as a cutting means it's going to stay small for a lot longer. I've got Aloe Cameronii. This is another one that will tolerate great heat. And notice how I picked up all of the red in the, in the uh, Crassula platyphylla here. And then we have a little, um, a little agave quadricolor, a little font of quadricolor. This is a standalone plant in my humblest of opinions. Now, we're moving into a different microclimate now. This is going to get some sun and some bright light, but not tons. Crassula undulata. This is a great little landscape shrub for sun or shade. So that was a, a no-brainer. I've got Petalanthus bracteus. In the inland areas, this one does better if it's got a little bit of shade. It won't die in the sun, but it drops all its leaves and looks kind of puny. So I've got, you know, just a wonderful assortment of succulents that are going to thrive in this particular microclimate. Over here, we've got a Pacopodium lumerii. Uh, that client loves aeoniums and this particular variety the salad bowl or the dinner plate aeonium is very tough and this was growing in full sun out in the nursery in Escondido so I've got my thriller classic thriller filler spiller Senecio string of bananas client's office is right here so she looks out at Petalanthus macrocarpus she loves this plant, so I wanted to be sure that she would be able to see it from her office. We've also got a little Echeveria giboflora hybrid here, um, Crassula lycopoidioides, some little Orgialis here. I love this plant, and String of Pearls. Remember, String of Pearls likes a little water to look its best. And then by the front door, we have this magnificent big blue bowl of succulents. I've got this aloe um, granadensis. This one will tolerate some shade. It's a beautiful verdant green. I've got a beautiful Echeveria, a bromeliad, more of the Senecio raulianus, and I've got a little string of hearts. This is a very delicate one, but I think it's going to do okay in the shady corner. Then this is our other shady corner here. Remember agave bracteosa, this is a good agave for shade. So here's some more plants that will tolerate the shady conditions. Oh my goodness, this, is, um, this has been fun. It's taken me a day, but what a transformation. I'd like to take you to the back and show you what we're gonna be doing next. So here's the back. We've got a huge, they've got a huge yard. They've got a tennis court, um, lots and lots of grassy area, but the idea is to work with pots around the pool. Very full sun back here, La Mesa, very hot, but we're gonna do, we're gonna do some pacopodiums here on, on either side of the jacuzzi and do some more interesting rock work. Something looks a little better. And then back here, you know, we'll stage groupings of pots. They're pulling in new furniture, so all this plastic will go. But I might, my gosh, isn't this view just absolutely spectacular? Uh, so, over here, we're gonna- Mom! Yes. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Misjudged that. 
that one, didn't I? Is it cold? No, it's actually warm. Where's the, where's the client? <laughs> Do I have my phone in my pocket? No. Oh, thank God. Oh God, I feel like, I feel like a beached whale. <laughs> <laughs> well, this has been Laura Eubanks' Design for Serenity with your succulent tip of the day.